Okay, so in this part of our discussion, we are going to talk about the very first step into project management, and this is known as initiation. So, this is also considered the very first step in the biz in the project management life cycle. Now, before I start this discussion, I would like to emphasize the fact that watching this short recorded videos because this will be the only resource that you have other than uh, just you know randomly browsing web or um, getting access to the book however I have uploaded uh, the PMBOK version third edition book into Google Drive which you will find that in the course outline there's a link I have embedded but uh, this will be one of the uh, main sort of resources for you. So I would highly encourage all of you to listen to these recorded lectures. Now, I will try to make it very short and succinct so that this gives you a heads up. And I expect to discuss further in detail when we will have our Monday's catch up, the three hour catch up. So please have listened to these lectures. Uh, this is in YouTube, so I sent out the link to all of you via email. I think it will be beneficial for you if you hit subscribe. I'm not trying to become a YouTube celebrity. However, this will give you instant notification when I will upload all of the videos. I find making videos very useful, especially in a virtual situation. So I will update you with all of the updates time to time through videos in the very channel where I'm uploading all of these videos. However, let us dive into our topic, initiation. So what is initiation? So initiation is the very first step in the project life cycle. We have talked about before in the first week that everything has a life cycle. So project also has a life cycle and in the life cycle, the very first step is known as initiation. So what is initiation? You might wonder. So initiation is about making a business case. So even before you start making the project plan or you start the project, you first need to convince your stakeholders that what's in it for them why are you doing this project what's the business value of this project so this is like a broad level summary of the project which you need to get your stakeholders buy in and that's when you need to create the initiation phase and there are some underlying steps some documentation which i will touch upon in this discussion so initiation begins even before the project planning starts. Keep that in mind. There's little difference between project planning and initiation. Initiation begins even before the project planning. So the main learning objectives in this week follows articulating a vision for the project, establishing goals, uh, defining expectations, scope of the project, and finally, we will be looking into a document called a project charter. So we will see how can we create a project charter. So initiation is the first phase of the project management. And in this phase, you need to do quite a few things. First of all, you need to have a very clear vision of your project. And then you need to align your objectives with your vision. While aligning your vision and the objectives, you also need to outline the scope of your project. While you do the scope, you also need to come up with the deliverables. When you say the deliverables, then you also need to determine the success criteria. And then finally, all of these needs to be incorporated into a document which is called the project charter, right? So, so let me show you this diagram. And in this diagram, as you can see, there are two axes, cost and time. So depending on your cost and time, whatever that is, your initial phase is where the project starts. And then the shape of the curve is like a mountain which slowly picks up and then slowly it sort of decreases like end of the mountain, which is the final phase. So in this diagram, you can see the typical sequence of the phase in a project life cycle. 
and in this phase as you can see that initial phase intermediate phase and final phase so the initiation phase actually begins even before the planning which you can see in the initial stage which is where you need to develop the charter the scope and then also the idea of the project like what's in it for the customer what's in it for your stakeholder in that project so before you start your project you need to start with the vision what is a vision well we hear about the word vision a lot don't we a vision is a visual or a mental state of your mind like a future state of your mind where exactly you'd like to go imagine when you're driving a car what happens if you don't have any destination in mind or even if you know the destination you don't know how to get there that's gonna make your journey very difficult but you develop a mental picture on the routes or the path like how exactly you are going to get there that will help you to reach to your destination so your vision statement is exactly what will guide your path towards your destination so in other words it's your desirable future state now there's a slight overlap between the word mission and vision and quite interchangeably used i'm not going to that now but uh, mission is considered like you know the reason for existence whereas vision is like a mental picture of that exact state of mind where you'd like to head when you start your project it is very important that you have a clear vision of your project like what will be achieved and what will be the desired output from this project so your vision statement needs to be a very broad level summary of your project but it should give a guidance on your desirable future state a vision statement is not only something that you'll only use for a project it's a something that you can use almost for everything even in your personal life as well now this might just go a little sidetracked from our discussion the focus of our discussion and as i have told before that sometimes i may just deviate slightly with my own philosophies or biases but i think as as a student um, it is very important for you to have that clear vision statement about yourself where you would like to see yourself in the next five years I know a lot of you have been already working in different organizations and you know doing pretty well but still you need to have something in mind which will guide you okay so where exactly I would like to see myself in the next five years am I going to see myself as the manager of the unit or am I seeing myself into something else so it is very important to have that clear state about yourself so once you know your vision statement which is your broad level summary or the mental picture of where exactly you'd like to go or the project like to go or head towards then you need to come up with a set of objectives now the objectives are more specific aims or goals rather than a very broad and overarching vision or the desirable state with your objective you have to outline what exactly should be achieved so when setting objectives you may have come across a very popular terminology called SMART which is an acronym and it stands for specific measurable achievable relevant and time-based so when you have a vision you need to comprehend your vision in the form of some specific objectives you need to clearly identify what exactly are your objectives so once you have set up your objectives there are a couple of other things that you also need to work out these are the category of your objective and then also the measure of your objectives it is well and good when you have the clear objectives or the smart objectives in mind but how are you going to measure the outcome of those objectives, whether it has been achieved or not so in that case you need to have some specific measure in place I will share some examples with you which will give you 
a clear guideline regarding how to set up objectives and also how to measure those whether that has been achieved or not and then you also have to have the category of the objectives as well like there could be various categories within your objectives and you should be able to differentiate all of them from one to another so that they don't get mixed up 